All right, everybody, Dylan here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pyre. So we have just won our rights battle against the fate and the minstrel in our black wagon has gone missing mysteriously. So we need to, I guess, find him. There's still no sign of the lone minstrel, although Jodariel tracks potential signs of movement east the same way you are headed. You consider where to search for him. Okay, so we could go to Glue Hive. Uh, Hedwin thinks the missing minstrel could have taken the route opposite the one we took. Jodariel believes the missing minstrel must have taken the same route you took earlier. Well, he thinks he could have done that. Jodariel thinks that he must have done that. I believe Jodariel. Also, isn't she our tracker? She's like our nature lady. So, I mean, we should we should trust her. As you make your way through the desolate sprawl of Fall Flat, all there is to show for the missing minstrel is a deeper scowl on Jodariel's face. Blast! I felt certain that he would have taken our same route to the spring of Jomwer. It's alright, Jody. He could have gone anywhere. Likely there was nothing to be found either way. We should keep moving. You pick up bits and pieces of the minstrel's significance to your fellow exiles. He was there when they first discovered the black wagon, but they speak little more of it for now. Stop the wagon. Uh, what? How come? Because of her. They're coming. They're coming for us. We, we have to be ready. We have to. Does she mean what I think she means? I believe so. Your fellow exiles scramble to prepare the wagon for whatever is out there. Once you help them settle in, perhaps you can learn more of the source of their concern. Oh dear. Hmm, well, let's go in here. Anything to mess around with? No, not really. Well, let's uh, prepare for the night then. They are coming for us. They fear the scribes. They fear the scribes. I know they do. What? What's she talking about? What's going on? Howlers. Lots of them. Uh, then uh, what are we going to do? They fear the scribes. Calm yourself, Fay. We shall give them reason to fear us as well. We'll use the raiments and the books. Indeed. One of us can draw them out under the reader's watch. Shall be just like one of the rites. Edwin turns to you. Seems we need your help in this, my friend. We just need a volunteer to go with you. I will do it, miss. Please, you have to let me, and the scribes, they will protect me. I know they will. Jadariel exchanges looks with Hedwin. Each of them nods at you as if to signal their approval. Okay, I guess they is the one doing it. Okay, so what is this? What the fuck is going on? That howling sound, it means... It means they're here. Oh, by the scribes, they're here. Fending off. That's like a mini game. Cool. No, I don't want to. I don't want to do that though. So please go away. Come on. Okay. So that just makes the projectile faster. I like it. I don't really want to jump. Why would I want to jump right now? I need to be spending my time killing these guys. More, I think there's many more. Oh, here they come, here they come. This will be a useful thing to know for actual fights, though. A 
Fuck, I missed. Fuck, I missed. And the aura back on, so I can just walk into these ones. Oof. Is it over now at last? It is, I think it is. Oh, those poor and wretched beasts. Just then, Faye spots something creeping towards her. What? Uh oh. That's not good. Oh dear. The howling subsides as your fellow exiles scramble out to check on Faye. You find her in one piece, along with an unfamiliar little face. <laughs> Isn't he the best? Can we keep him? Squee You sense a depth of experience in this creature, at least, you know, judging by drive up standards. In fact, do you feel a connection to him? If you concentrate, perhaps you can derive some meaning from his calls and screeches. Screechy kiki kiki. Alright, so he's excited and frustrated by something. The pattern is screeches, he seems welcoming of this. Seems to have history with your black wagon, you are beginning to understand him. The drive imp recognizes you, the new reader of the night wings, and he is pleased to meet you. You can now understand this unusual drive imp. The drive imp seems satisfied at having gotten through to you, and you explain to your companions what little you have learned of him thus far. No one argues against letting the creature come along. Inside the wagon, the other drive imps stare at him with something like reverence. The drive imp has joined you, he seems to know his way around. Alright, what's up, drive homie? Uh, I guess we're gonna talk to him. See, the little imp has made himself at home. He rushes right up to you. Your new imp wagon seems very pleased to be in the wagon, or companion seems to be pleased in the wagon. He indicates he was able to find you thanks to the swarm of howlers. He has no love of howlers, and they know not to mess with him either. God damn, this guy's a badass. He plans to set up a nest that should ward off any further trouble from them. He looks forward to the road ahead with everyone and believes it shall be worth it. He seems to be saying he is happy to be back where he belongs, and he urges you to keep going. Bounce off towards his brother and settle in the wagon's rafters. Okay. Scribe catcher. It's kind of cool. Searching for something to drink. Cleaning her armor. Doing minor repairs. Oh, let's move on. All right. I guess we can go to Licksand. He wants our new friend wants us to take the past bearing ETH. Okay, I guess we're gonna go east. ETH. Gonna go east. Edwin orders the wagon to a halt somewhere in the rocky pathways of Jumware Valley. There's someone on the road. Be careful, everyone. The figure watching the black wagon from afar approaches, arms spread wide, although a hat and cloak conceal the figure's features. Then the imp rushes out towards whoever it is. Reek! Very riled up at the sight of whoever is approaching, though in an almost joyous way. Tizo, it is good to see you, and you found the others even faster than expected. The imp called Tizo appears very pleased. The lone minstrel turns towards the rest of you. Hello. We have not met, but I know who you are, or who you must be. I returned as promptly as I could. Have you walked with the scribes themselves, because I think maybe you have? Hello indeed. You had his word there when you took off. I should knock him back into his slumber. I did not aim to cause you such concern. As soon as I awakened, I had to notify my client that the Night Wings have returned. Your client? I, my client, Sandalwood. He is your point of contact, as I understand. You did not find his wagon by mistake. So what now? You continue down the path. That is why I am here. When we meet my client, he shall explain. For now, you have a job to do. I assure you that I shall not interfere. But I mean to accompany you. Would that be all right? Edwin and the others exchange looks. Welcome back, minstrel. You got a name? I am sometimes called Tariq. It is a pleasure to meet you, Nightwings. 
the lone minstrel returns to the black wagon with your fellow exiles. All right, we got our minstrel back. Cool. So that is some fucking spooky looking place up here. The Cairn of Haub, the cursed imp here fell the mighty titan, is a foreboding sight. It is here that the next rite is soon to commence. Ligaratus. Reader, if you have a moment, once we are settled on these grounds, I wish to speak with you in the wagon at your leisure. Well, we have a moment, so... Guess we should speak to him at our leisure. The lone minstrel seems to have situated himself in the wagon. He is very still, not unlike when he was sleeping. Reader, I shall keep this brief, as you shortly have a rite you must conduct. You have read something of the Book of Rites, which means you may know something of my nature. On the contrary, you know not what he means, and he soon senses this. Forgive me, for I spoke too soon. Suffice it, I have served the night wings for some time. Conduct the rites with glory, and you shall achieve what you seek. The lone minstrel nods farewell to you and steps away. Alright. Oh, I can listen to music. That's cool. Oh man, how cool is that? Okay. The rope collar. In the words of Gol Gol Golathen Gus the Master General. I knew it was a fool's errand, but my liege he would not listen. He instead insisted to pursue a certain treasure, a celestial orb, freshly fallen from the heavens in the reaches of the downside. He would be a living legend if only he could grasp it, whispered in his ear that calmer rope collar, his elder and most trusted aid. Would that I slew that man myself. It was a simple and brilliant ruse to draw the emperor farther still from his responsibilities and towards his greed. Thus did the Emperor begin an expedition into the Forsaken Lands. He insisted that he go himself. Man, what a dick lord. How do I... Can I go back and look at the other pages, maybe? Ah, gotta do that. Cool. Alright. Let's check out the slug market. Oh, hey guys, fancy running into you at this side of sand. So what can I do you for? Uh, Ron, how do you make it all this way ahead of us? Hey, come on now, Mr. Greentail. I can't give up all my business secrets, am I right? Well, what I can do though, seeing as that you've been is such a good customer and all, is provide you a sample of a little some sum you might like. You check this out. Seeing as you bought that Mooncrest thinger from me last time, why, I'm thinking you could use this and I got more if you like. Got a pinch of stardust. Oh, okay, you can level up talismans. Pretty cool. Alright. Interact with Ron to quiet him down. Okay, so what do we got here? Bearer's Pyre automatically giving 7 health. Bearer deals bonus damage. Carrying the orb, you move faster than normal. Huh. Cool. He's beating the hell out of people and gives you a bunch of money. Um, well, we can afford this. But I don't think it's really worth it, to be frank. Um, we should probably buy the Stardust. Ah, I know you're gonna like that stuff, guys. It's pretty woo, you know what I mean? And if you want some more, now I know just the individual and his dad who can get it. Catch my meaning, yeah. Just uh, stop on by some other time. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Um, let's see. Well, we can't buy the lunar glass because that's 200. We could technically buy the... Let's go ahead and take this because it'll pay for itself in one game and I don't have enough other talismans to really worry too much about it. This is the quickness one. We'll give him the contract. Yeah. They're leaving, Dad. 
Just look at how much we got this time. All right. It's time. Let's commence the rite. You and your fellow exiles gather around the sacred site known as the Cairn of Haub, anticipating the hour that the rites are to commence again. All is quiet for a time, and then... You can find out what happens next time. Ha <laughs> ha! See you guys!